Well, that was a new concept. I like that. Let's see, where's Aggro? There she is. Also, in case you're wondering why I'm calling Aggro a she, uh, that is because canonically, Aggro is female. A lot of people don't know that. And that, I mean, I guess that's fair, considering that Shadow of the Colossus doesn't have any real dialogue in it. It, it kind of has dialogue, I guess. Also, if you missed last episode, then you're probably wondering why I have Aggro from Shadow of the Colossus. That's a good question. So last episode, we went to the Tabob Grasslands, caught a five spur horse, which is hopefully going to be our final horse of the game. And today we're heading into the Gerudo Valley. What on? Okay, and maybe this won't be my final horse of the game if boulders fall from the sky and kill her. Let's, let's feed her just to make sure that she doesn't die this episode. Here, some apples, some carrots. And a melon? I don't think you'll eat the melon, but enjoy, I guess. That's a weird light. Will she eat the melon? That's my question. Will you eat the melon? No, she doesn't care about the melon. Hey, hey, I, I, sure, I sure wasn't expecting to meet anyone out here. Perhaps this is just an upturn in luck I needed. So yeah, I'm a traveler like you, but and I was attacked by monsters in this very canyon. That's when my partner, that's to say, my horse, ran off. And hey, I've been stranded here ever since. All I need is a horse to continue my travels. A horse, a horse. If I just had a horse. Good-sized horse. So that horse. I know this is asking a lot, but could I buy that horse for 300 rupees? You're not buying aggro. No, you're not. Hey, 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 okay, I see. I mean, sure, after you went to the trouble of catching this horse and all, I get it. But if you find a horse you don't mind selling, please bring it to me, hey? Even a wild horse is just fine, please. Okay, we'll do that at some point. <laughs> Bye. I am in... I am in quite the hankering. In fact, let me mark this on the map. Uh, this is... Star. I need to find the tower. Because that is the first thing I, I should always do when I enter a new area, is find... The tower. We've seen it. I guess I probably should have marked it with the Sheikah sensor. Man, that is quite the apparatus, isn't it? Looks like a looks like a Zelda version of of Mad Max up there. In fact, at any moment, I'm expecting I'm expecting someone to yell "witness me" and and jump off these cliffs with you know spears, trying to kill me. Oh, the horse cannot go any further. What is this garbage? Speaking of Mad Max... Die. Can you please... End your life. His head is stuck. There, it's dead. Cool. Okay, let's stasis... Let's stasis this. Let's see how far we can blast this... Blockage. That'll do the trick! That did the trick. We have a metal thing, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Aggro. We can make it through here. I think. If we're slow, hopefully we won't get ambushed. I'm really expecting an ambush. Good girl. She's also really... It's its crazy how much of a, a leg up, literally, how much of a leg up she has over Sif or Heart or... I mean, I guess not, not Camel. He's kind of... That's comparing apples to oranges, but she's so much better. Her handling is almost too much for me, and her speed is insane. And those flamingos are pink. Just what is this area? This is so cool. I feel like we should be heading to the top of these canyons, because that's where the tower was, but I'm also content just to ride out this path. Although, it should be noted, we are... We are dancing on the border between two regions. Ooh, a stable. Well, that's a welcome surprise. Has Cass, Gerudo Canyon Stable. Wait, are there Gerudo here? That would be neat. We've only seen one. You're not a Gerudo. This is the painter guy. You are sad. Rush, rush. And he says nothing, and then you are someone we see all the time. What have you ha what do you have for us? Arrows, winter wing butterflies, 
going to buy them just because I might need heat resistance. Hardy Lizard, I'll take that. I'll take that. Those are kind of rare. And Arrows, I'll take those too. I really need at some point to sell off my inventory, but I'm currently doing fine subsisting on my low amounts of money. So there's a shrine near here that we should really be discovering so that I can warp back here. But I am also really, really ready to discover the tower. This area interests me, but I, I really want to discover... Whoa. Let's not. Let's not ride her to her death. I think we can ride her down that slope. Man, are we just about to face a colossi here? Because that's what it reminds me of. Come on, girl. You can go down those stairs. Go down the stairs. I guess she can't go down the stairs. Grudo Desert Gateway. And of course we move slow here. Of course we do. Where is that? Man, this is much different from anything we've discovered before. Are we going to need snowshoes for this? Also, this is a good test. Can aggro come with me? No, she cannot. So as soon as we get aggro... Oh, well, there's a path. As soon as we get aggro, we have to ditch her. Seems like aggro isn't able to come. Hello, Gerudo woman. Wh where's that treasure? I don't know. Savolta. If you're searching for Khalees, legendary treasure hunter, then your search is over. You're looking at her. I've been in the game for over 20 years. When I set my sights on a treasure, you can be sure that I'll claim it. Okay. <laughs> Bye. What is that over there? What is this? I saw electricity? Oh, it's a little camp. Which I can rob blind. Get up here. Rip it out. Let's just grab that. And then run. Actually, we are bandits in a radiant shield. I'll take that. I got a radiant shield. Now let us run. Run to that oasis over there. Huge sand sandstorm on the horizon. At this point, I'm kind of wondering whether or not I should backtrack and explore this area. But also, this this area is a dead end. It's a corner of the map. So I think I'll do. I'll be exploring here. Which means that tower which I saw earlier, I don't think is the actual tower for this. Actually, wait a minute. Now's my chance to find out. Where is that on the map? No, that is... That's the tower to this area. So I'm going to discover this village, this oasis, and then... Whoa. Whoa, divine beast. You see that? What even is that? Is that... Oh, it's a camel. It's a camel. With psychedelic My Little Pony legs. It's a camel. That's so cool. It's also a little bit bigger than my camel. Uh, my camel is a giant horse, but it's not that big. Also, it doesn't walk like a normal four-legged beast. It's not alternating. You'd think it would fall over when it goes to take a step. Hey, I am a guy. Uh, in case I remember my Gerudian? Gerudo history. You guys don't like men. Hello, Savolta. This is Karakara Bazaar. The Gerudo town is a fair distance southwest of here. If you're headed there, you should consider resting a bit. Though you are a vol. Even if you make it to town, you won't be able to get in. All the same, the Divine Beast is kicking up a storm right now, so I don't recommend going to Gerudo Town. Oh. Gerudo Town is to the southwest. It's the biggest town in the area. It's famous for trade and also for staying active and vibrant all night long. However, there is a law forbidding Vo, males, from entering the city. Divine Beast? You don't know about Divine Beast Vanaburus? Supposedly, it is the guardian deity for the Gerudo people, when suddenly it started acting up a while back. There's nothing we can do to stop it, either. It's protected by a fierce sandstorm and intense lightning. Though it hasn't yet, it could easily head towards Gerudo Town or this oasis. I do my best to keep an eye on it from here. Thank you. Hmm, I, you. I don't need any thanks. This is my job, after all. 
You know the desert is hot during the day and cold at night. It'll take the energy out of you in no time. If you plan to head out to the desert, make sure you're prepared. Well, we're a vo, apparently. I don't know what a vo is. I presume a, ma a man, but it's a weird way of saying man, vo. Also, there's always, yep, there's always something in the water. So I can, I assume that, actually it looks like they just sell a bunch of things to keep us cool. Uh, I can't probably, I can't, yeah, I can't afford many of those. So, I think we're going to about face and just get to that tower this episode. I think that's our goal. We'll try to find a warp point or maybe drop one here. And my, my sensor isn't picking up any shrines nearby, so... Ew. You. Good morning, though it's Savota and Gerudo, isn't it? But before I say any more, have we met before? I came from here from Rito Village. Uh, I've never been there. Yes, Rito Village. Far to the north of here, it's the modest village on Tabantha Frontier. I have a great plan, you know. I left Rito Village to try and earn some money out in the world. But it's so incredibly hot here during the day, it's been tough to work up the will to go any further. I would like to see what the Gerudo Town looks like, even if I can't go inside. It's just so hot. I hear there's an elixir that can help bur beat the heat. It's made from insects with cooling effects and monster parts. But they don't seem to be selling the elixir anywhere. I've heard insects with these cooling effects live in the cold parts of Gerudo Highlands, but... Well, the monsters here, there are rough, so to say the least. So I'm having a lot of success. I'm not having a lot of success getting myself motivated. An ice guy. Hello. You are not really being shaded by this. Savolta. Who are you? Uh, you're a vo, aren't you? Uh, you can't mm -hmm. tell? Okay. No, I bet Mama would have a problem with a delicate vo like oh. you. Oh yes, I'm Ronson. I hail from Gruto Town. Mm -hmm. This search for the love of my life, I'm so exhausted by it. Search? I don't know why I'm even saying this. It's no business to a Hylian like you, but... I'm constantly being bothered by my mother over not having found the love in my life. No male Gerudo? You could, you know, Ganon, I know where he is, I could set you up. Exactly. Since it's so rare for a Vo to be born to be born to a Gerudo, we seek out husbands from the world beyond Gerudo Town. I proved myself a gifted tailor. Tailor? Oh, her name's Son. I can set you up. Uh, let's see, but none of the Vo I've met seem to appreciate a well-hemmed garment. I was hoping my craft would help me find a mate, but it doesn't seem like there's much work for a tailor around here. I wonder if there is something, if there really is someone out there for me. Go to Terrytown! Your name ends in Sun. Hey, what about it? So abrupt, too. Let me hear the details. Well, there's a Gerudo, and that, or, uh, there's a Goron, and a Goron, and a dude there, and they're awesome, Sun. They need a tailor? It's something, I suppose. The Akala region is kind of far away, but maybe I need to travel, getting far away from a village full of Vi. So it's Vo and Vi here, I guess. It's not like I'm accomplishing anything by staying here. If I can continue my search in Terrytown. Thanks for the for all the information. I'm going to go home and pack a huge bag. It'll be a long journey all the way there. I'll no doubt see you again in Terrytown. Have fun. This quest, which has been in Nowheresville for so long, is finally seeing progress. I suppose there we need to find a Rito. As well, and maybe Azora. Is this a shop? This is. Also, they have singleton arrows. Odd. Maybe in case you didn't know what the arrow types were. And do they sell clothing here? I'm kind of looking for that at this point. It was like that in the man loud sire much. It was like that in the Goron or the Laneru or the the Elden region. Sorry. I was wondering if it was like that here. So, I don't think we're going to be... I think I'm going to be dropping a Traveler's Medallion here. And then heading to the tower. Hey. And for that tower, I think I'm going to be just climbing the mountain. I don't think aggro will be of any help to me. Uh, we'll deal with that later. But I really want to get that tower done. Then I'll come back, get that memory. And I think we'll do that. Also, what is the status ailment I have? It's tiredness? I'm not hot. I'm not taking damage. I am taking damage. So it's no different from being on fire. Okay. 
I always said that those status ailments were a bit wonky, because they are considered to be different, even though they're functionally the same. But I guess maybe maybe it also just consumes my stamina faster. I don't know. I'm not taking damage too quickly. Although I guess if I had fewer hearts, I would be complaining a, a lot louder. Okay, so let's climb this this mountain with our new stamina. Ignoring most of the things in our path. While they do look interesting, they're also they're also distractions. So let's equip Let's equip our climbing gear. As you remember, as I've already said this episode, it we did get an upgrade for it that allows us to jump without consuming that much stamina. Yeah, it's it's like half the stamina consumption as before. I also believe we climb faster than ever before. But that doesn't really matter when I can just spam jump all the way up to the top. Man, this upgrade's so nice. I'm actually almost out of stamina. I'm not even sure I'll make it. It'll be close. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, barely. And so here we are. The tower's over there, so we are headed the right way. Just climbing over, trying to make a, a straight line for it. Since we have already explored a lot this episode that's also going to be probably where i ended off especially because i am in a new area so i need to be waiting for your guys' input it's not just a oh pa pals at the end of a recording session is this a quarry it's like a quarry yeah this is a this is a stone quarry that's that's pretty cool we haven't encountered one of those before but it's not just a pals at the end of a recording session he's tired he's trying to finish off the the episode. It's not even, oh, Pal has other things to do on on his weekend. It's a, I need your input on where I should go, on the correct path that I should take. With how involved, I mean, I'm certain I could find my way. I'm not inept at video games, but that's part of the allure of this Let's Play. The The direction that I that I take is, is one that you all choose. Everything I've done over the past couple of episodes, everything, from finding a horse to upgrade... Well, I guess maybe not upgrading my gear. That was the one thing I chose to do. But finding a horse, uh, encountering that glitch on the on the Lake Hylia Bridge, all of those things... What is that? All of those things are things you suggested. And so I would like to continue that trend since you are all very involved in the series. Also, I love this upgrade. It makes It makes climbing a lot easier. And I wonder, is there a three-star upgrade? We've only encountered two, two great fairies, and yet we've encountered three, four springs? And you'd think with how much of the map we've covered, we would have encountered, uncovered more great fairy fountains. I don't know, maybe there's only one more. But also, we have a special status ailment or status buff for... Our full set of gear so I don't know how much further we could go beyond that there's the tower is it being guarded by anyone there's a wind but is it being guarded by anyone it doesn't look like it is here, let's let's climb up this way to see what's up here maybe even get a, a nice vertical head start to ascending this tower, or actually just skipping out the middle man, yeah. Uh, protection is now ready that startles roll. me every time. Oh, there's a Korok, okay. Or is there? No, this is not a Korok. Just a bunch of boxes here for some reason. Okay, well, let's use Cryonis. I don't think there's really anything here for me. Let's use Cryonis. And get over to this tower. Oh, I'm playing some dangerous games with this. Wasteland Tower. And this is the tower for the entirety of this desert. All of this desert is covered by this one, now that I think about it, cell tower. <laughs> That's entirely what these are. Also, am I taking... Okay, I'm, I'm cold, but I'm not freezing yet. These really are just cell towers. That just blew my mind. They 
we are just uh, servicemen. That is the true story of Breath of the Wild. We are just servicing all these AT&T AT cell towers, restoring internet to the land. Isn't this just a very metropolis Breath of the Wild story or Zelda story? Okay, let's let's look out. Oh man, we can see everything from here. The divine beast stomping around. I assume that's the Gor the Gerudo City. There's the oasis, and then there are just the far reaches of the land, the edge of the world. There's an island over there. Should make note of that. And and we can't take our horse. Wow, we can't take our horse through any of it. None. We can't take aggro through any of it. We can't even take our horse, which is named Camel, through this area. Which is a tragedy. Shika Tower activated. And with that, we have now gained license to explore this area instead of just beelining it straight for important things. And in fact, I think that's what we're going to be doing next episode. We could just traverse the desert. We could make that trek. Or we could do a little bit of exploration in the areas that we've just passed. Maybe sell a horse to that one traveler who lost his. Maybe try and find some shrines. Or, more interestingly, the Gerudo Highlands are something we've seen advertised already. And it appears to be to our east, which means it borders where we discovered the giant horse. So there's probably some some area of access there from that from that region, from the the west Faron region, that we could access in fact there's a pass right there that leads into ooh a maze. So we might do all of that. Or we could also just beeline it straight for the Gerudo the Gerudo City. Either one is fine with me. But we have a giant new area to explore, simply called Gerudo. These are the wastelands of Hyrule. These are the the outcasts, the people that don't really belong anywhere. And so it'll be it'll be quite the experience to get to know a a country of thieves. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I can make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday, and join me next time and please Drop some input in the comment that was awkward. Dr drop some input in the comments for what I should be doing next episode. Maybe you guys want to see me go straight for the city. Or maybe, uh, well actually we're probably going to be doing this anyway. I do need to, I do need to drop by, uh, Terrytown just to see how Miss Woman is faring. So. I'll see you guys next time where we do one of those things or something that you guys that you suggest. See you guys then. Of armor, you guys were very quick to notice, well, I guess you were slow to notice that when I was in Hateno Village, there was an armor set, is, no, it's not here. An armor set that I could have purchased, but I didn't. And that was all the way back in what, episode 10? And apparently, where it's not here, there is an armor shop somewhere, and it has the fabled defense gear. Is it this? Oh, this looks like it. Is this it? Oh, wow.